Biden administration finally issued a new eviction ban effective across most of the country until October. Four stimulus check can be added to Democrats' new $3.5 trillion spending plan. Republicans are quite happy, as in the states where they stopped unemployment benefits now in those states, unemployment rate is quite low. Hello YouTube, welcome back with another video from MoneyPro. This is your daily news report and fourth stimulus check update. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention issued a new federal eviction moratorium on Tuesday. The eviction ban will be targeted at areas of the country experiencing high levels of coronavirus infections and will last for 60 days until October 3. The protection will cover around 90% of renters. The CDC original eviction ban which had been in effect since September 2020, expired on July 31. More than 11 million Americans remain behind on their rent, and the coronavirus pandemic continues to spread. Research has found evictions lead to a spike in virus cases and deaths. The White House previously had said it couldn't extend the eviction ban, again after the Supreme Court ruled in June that the policy could only be renewed through legislation. It's unclear how the court will respond to this new moratorium, but it could at least buy states and cities more time to distribute the $45 billion in rental assistance allocated by Congress. Just around $3 billion that money had reached households by the end of June. Will there be a fourth stimulus check deposited in your bank account? Well, some lawmakers are calling on Biden administration to add four stimulus check to new spending plan that Democrats plans to pass on their own without Republicans' vote. Currently, $3.5 trillion spending plan focus on expand child care and paid leave, boost public health care subsidies, and make pre-K and higher education more accessible. It also hopes to extend tax credits for families, encourage the adoption of green energy, and make buildings and infrastructure more resilient against climate change, but do not have four stimulus check. There is another possibility of four stimulus check as you know Delta variant COVID-19 is surging. We hope it will not affect like previous one. But if cases get increased, then Biden administration will go for guidelines of CDC, which means more lockdown and potentially a four stimulus check. With growing concerns about the Delta variant and the White House indicating that it is willing to do what is necessary to take drastic measures to curb the spread of the virus, there's a stronger possibility of a fourth stimulus check than at any time in recent months. If widespread lockdowns once again become necessary due to the more transmissible Delta variant of COVID-19, this would almost certainly necessitate the passage of another coronavirus relief bill providing a fourth stimulus payment. But government is doing everything to get people fully vaccinated. Biden recently called on states to use COVID-19 relief fund and give $100 to every new vaccinated American. I announced additional steps to incentivize Americans to get vaccinated, including calling on states to offer $100 for anyone willing to step up and get a vaccination shot. You know, and already Minnesota and New Mexico have done that. North Carolina announced its 100-day incentive, its $100 incentive today. Places that have offered the 100,000, the 100,000, $100, that'd be really good. I'd go back and get vaccinated three times. <laughs> but all kidding aside, offered the $100 to get vaccination have seen an uptick of 25% in daily vaccination rates. We also announced that small and medium-sized businesses will be fully reimbursed for offering paid time off for their employees to get vaccinated and for them to take a child or a parent to get vaccinated. And I announced some tough, sometimes unpopular steps to keep people safe and our, our economy strong. Um, the courts made it clear that the existing moratorium was not constitutional. It wouldn't stand. And they made that clear back in, I guess, July 15th or July 18th. In the meantime, what I've been pushing for and calling for is we have billions of dollars that have given to states to provide for rent 
and utilities for those people who can't afford to stay in their homes because they can't, I'm in an apartment, they can't pay their rent. And so we're urging them to distribute those funds to the landlords. I believe that would take care of the vast majority of what needs to be done to keep people in their, in their, in their apartments now. And so that's what we're working on. Some states have done it and some communities have, but they have not. The money is theirs. Not, we don't have to send it out. It's been sent out to the states and counties, billions of dollars, for the express purpose of providing for back rent and rent the people who are in the middle of this crisis. And that's there. That's what we're pushing now. And we've been pushing that. That's the immediate thing to do. Take one more question. States with Republican governors stop the unemployment benefits early and Republicans are quite happy and claiming that the unemployment rate in those states are very low. Also, with cutoff early unemployment benefits, Republicans saying that they saved around $60 billion for bipartisan infrastructure bill. That's the end of the video. Before you leave, please do not forget to subscribe our channel. Also like and share this video. Thank you so much everyone, goodbye.